Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. For today's video, I'm going to be setting up my Simply Gilded B6TN on camera with you guys and I'm actually going to go for like a kind of summer and like tropical and plant theme for this setup. So I'm actually filming this early on in the summertime but this video will probably be going up around August, maybe late summer. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I have to film my videos in advance because I am going to be super busy in August and I won't have time to film videos for you guys. And so um, I am filming this quite a bit early. I am going to start using it right away. And so that's also another reason why I want to film this video now. But like I said, you probably won't be seeing this until August mid-August so um, by that time I will probably be already well into this setup um, maybe I'll do like an update on it so this is just a little disclaimer there's going to be a lot of Simply Gilded in this setup because I am combining two boxes together I'm combining the December 2020 growth box which was kind of like a plant theme and I'm also matching it up with the Tropical Lux which is actually where we got this B6TN from. So let me show you the B6TN first. So this is what it looks like. It's a quilted one. So it's all black. So it has this gorgeous quilting to it. Um, it does have the gold hardware there with the hearts. You guys know that I love the scallop detail. It's all over my inserts and so that's why I really love these TNs. So this is what the inside looks like. You have a secretarial pocket here, another pocket which I love. It does say Simply Gilded there at the bottom. You get four elastics which is perfect for me because I typically use three or four inserts. And then you do get an elastic pen loop here. And then you also have a little D-ring here which you can hang a charm off of. So that's really nice. And then the back of it just looks like that. So again, this is the B6 size. It came in the Tropical Lux box. I'm gonna be using this. And then I pulled out a lot of vellum and acetate for this setup. So a lot of these are from the boxes. They already came cut and folded for the B6 size, so I really don't need to do anything for it. Um, I think these three came in the growth box. So these are subscription boxes, and actually I think they're still available in the shop right now. So if you guys wanna grab these two boxes, you can probably still get the full box, or you can just get um, the a la carte version. So if you just want the vellum, you can grab the vellum or the sticky notes or something like that to create a setup. Um, I do have a referral link to Simply Gilded, so if you guys are interested in getting $5 off a $15 purchase, you guys can grab these boxes um, with a discount using my link down below. So that's a great kind of money saving opportunity for you guys. This is the other one that I have from the Tropical Luxe, so it came with this beautiful palm tree pattern and then you got this really deep dark green vellum with the palm leaves at the bottom so that's why I decided to go for something kind of green with pops of pink because of this box here so I have those acetates and vellums I am also going to be using just one foxy fix dashboard this is in the b6 size so I have one of those I'm going to be pulling a lot of paper from a Michaels paper pack so these are ones that I have cut to the size already so I can slip them into the vinyl dashboards from Foxy Fix. So I have a couple of these flamingo ones because I do want to bring a little bit more of the pink in. Obviously out of these colors pink is probably my favorite but I am kind of going with a kind of greeny or teal theme with the pops of pink and the black and white. So I chose these ones. This one has like a kind of water theme to it. So I thought it would look nice with the kind of tropical vibe I'm going for. I have another flamingo one. And then this one has the monstera leaves, which I thought was perfect for my plant theme as well. And then over here, I do have other pieces from that paper pack. So these are kind of like journaling cards. They come kind of like in a larger sheet like this and I just cut them apart with my paper trimmer. But I like that they have the gold foil on it. So this one has the pink that I kind of want to go for. And then also 
You can see the Monstera leaves there match. This one also has the palm tree, so I might use that. And then I do have some other extra journaling cards here, which I think are just gorgeous. They definitely match my theme. I don't know if I'll use every single one of them in here, but I just want to show you them in case um, you guys are interested. This one's really gorgeous as well. It has a more minimal vibe. And then I love this one as well. So all of these items that I just showed you come from this paper pack from Michaels. So I got this quite a while ago, so I don't know if you can still get it, but the brand is DCWV and it's called Bahama Mama. And you can see there's like a lot of really tropical kind of papers in here. So I pulled a bunch from here. So that's where I got all of these goodies from. I think they're super gorgeous. Um, I do have the journaling cards that came with the box. So this is from the Tropical Lux one and this is the growth one. So again, it has that green in it with the foiling. So this one's rose gold and this one is gold. And then I also do have the sticker seals that go with it. So this one's the Tropical Lux one and this is the growth one. And then I do have the B6 inserts. So this came with the Tropical Lux and it's actually a blackout notebook, which is great. And to write in this, you would use a pen like this, the Jelly Roll pen. This came in the box as well. This one's a white one. So you can write in here using this pen. It's perfect for that. And then this actually came from another box. This is from the Paris and Spring box. But I'm bringing this over from my other one because I am still using it. This one's just a line one. And then this one came from the growth box again with the beautiful princess plant there. And then this one's just a dot grid. So I'll be using three notebooks. The other kind of insert that I'm using is this. Once again, you may have seen this in my other setup. This is a little pouch that I got from Simply Gilded, another box. And I'll show you how to use this in the TN. And then all these other accessories are from various different places. I have some clips here. Um, this plant clip is perfect for the setup. It's from Exo Carolyn Designs. I have these crocheted bows. These are from Sweet Paper Bliss. And then I do also have this kind of leaf um, rose gold clip from Sweet Paper Bliss as well. I have some die cuts here. These ones are some pink hollow bows. These are from Josephine Bow Designs. I have the sticky notes that came in the box from Simply Guild. I have a doily there. I have some die cuts. This is from GP Studio, as is this. And then this clip here is also from Sweet Paper Bliss. I have a sticky note from Simply Gilded, and I have made my own kind of washi dashboard using the washi that came in the growth box. I actually just put it on the back of the menu card. And then I have the pen that came with the growth box. So um, I'm gonna be kind of playing around with all these items. I may not use every single one of them, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna start putting it all together now, so let's get started. Okay, so we have our B6TN here. I'm gonna start with the pockets first and then, then kind of go through this way. So I do have quite a lot of like little die cuts here and there. These are from GP Studio, like I mentioned. I have this doily that I kind of want to use because this inside here is quite dark. So I was thinking I can just pop a little doily there to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Um, I do also have some sticker seals and this washi dashboard. You can probably use this inside the actual um, dashboards, the Foxy Fix dashboards, but I also kind of like the idea of just like layering like this. Um, obviously, I do also have these guys here, which I may pop in here to use as decoration, but also you know, it's a great opportunity for me to see what I have and use it. I definitely want to add these sticky notes because um, these are a really good size, I feel like. So, um, and they are just made out of paper, so you can use any pen with it. Maybe I'll pop a little die cut in there, something like that, so you can bring in that plant theme. Then I also do have these. Um, these are from Josephine Bow Designs. These are the Peach Bellini Bows. So I can probably put one in here to bring in some of that pink. That's pretty, or maybe this one. 
I think I like the darker pink a little bit more. So I will kind of leave it like that and see. I also have a ton of these journaling cards that I got from that paper pack I showed you. So I feel like any one of these would look beautiful in there as well. My favorites are these two. It says Another Day in Paradise because I really like the pink and the green. Those are the colors I'm trying to go for in this spread. And I also really like this one because it has the palm trees. It says Find Me Under the Palms. So let's see if I can incorporate these two somehow. Um, actually, let me try moving these out and then let's put this in here instead kind of like that better so we can see a little bit of the pink so I'll do that instead of the sticker seals I'm trying to decide if I want to put a bow in here I do have two colors this one is the green so it matches that or I can put it in the actual notebook I'll go with the pink for now and we'll see I always go with pink don't I um, okay, so let's start with the inserts now. So I'm going to be using this B6TN insert, and I do have these papers from the paper pack already pre-cut. Um, I know that I want to use a pink one in the front because I want to, like I said, bring in that pink color. So I'm going to put the flamingo one in first. So like I said, this is going to be kind of like a tropical plant theme. So there we go, I just pop that one in there. So I could always use something like this, but I feel like this is a little bit more of like a turquoise green rather than like a true green, like a dark green. Let's see what else do I have. I have these journaling cards that came in the box I can probably use. Well, I think I like this journaling card in the front, but I don't want it on the pink background. So there we go. You can tape these down. I'm not going to. I'm literally just going to slide them in there because once they're in there, they don't really move too much. So I'm just going to center it like that. Let's see. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. So we have the teal kind of water background. And then with the pink journaling card, I think I prefer that look. Okay, so now let's go into the inside. Let's see, I want to use this little journaling card that came in that paper pack. Okay, so I have the pink now, and then let's put this guy in because I love the quote on this. And then let's see if I want to put a die cut on it. I'll use the sunnies because I don't want to put pink on pink. Might be too much. I do also have the sticky notes. These are vellum sticky notes. They're slightly transparent. These came in the growth box and it does have some of that same coloring. So I might peel one off and use one of these and use it as a die cut instead. You can definitely use sticky notes as die cuts. They come in really cute shapes and sizes in this box. So you can kind of play around. So now I have two of the cardstock dashboards left. I don't want to put the two pinks inside. So I think what I'll do is I'll put this one in here and then this one at the back. And so that they're a little bit different. So I feel like this kind of matches with the Aztec vellum that I have here. This one's more black and white and this one has a creamy look to it. But I think it'll work. Since this is kind of busy, I'm not gonna put too much on it. I can probably add that one there now. And then I do have this sticky note. This came from a different box from Simply Gilded. It's a little cactus and then it's in rose gold foiling and it says poke there at the bottom. It's so cute. And it does fit my kind of plant theme. So I'm just gonna put it on my Monstera dashboard. We'll put it there and then this guy you can add a little bit more of that pink in here. Just like that. So that's how it's looking like so far. And then in the back here, I can probably use one of these guys. So I have this one, this one. I do also have the Tropical Luxe journaling card. That might look nice oh it really pops on the pink let's try that instead then it's so easy to use these journaling cards because they're like the perfect size 
So let's see what that looks like inside the first elastic. I'm just gonna pop it in there. So there we go. You have some die cuts in the center and then the two journaling cards on the outside. I think that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. If I change my mind, I can always move things around. So now I'm going to decide what insert I'm going to put inside. I'm thinking I want to go with this green one that came in the box um, because I like this look here. And I'm going to use the pink vellum to go over that. So I'm just going to grab the inside here, put it down the center. So that is how it's going to look like. Very pretty. I have two pieces of acetate here. I like to put the acetate on the outside over the vellum just so that the vellum won't rip. It kind of protects it a little bit more. So I'm gonna put them like this because these two look good together. They came from the same box. And then these two look good together because they also came from the same box. So I just have to decide which inserts now I wanna put inside of them. The green would look nice in either one of them, I guess. So this actually came from the same box, but I don't want the two greens together. Kind of want like a, something different. So I'll probably put this one in here and then maybe this one in here. So once again, if you guys don't know how to put your inserts in, you just find the middle and then you can just slide them in. So this is what it looks like after the dashboard, the vinyl dashboard. So I have a piece of acetate now kind of protecting everything. Then I have my vellum from the growth box and then this blackout insert is from the Tropical Lux. So it's gonna look like that now. And then my third one will have the two acetates and vellums from the Tropical Lux and then I have my notebook that I was using before from the Paris and Spring box. You're probably wondering what I'm gonna use the last insert for. I did this in my other TN, but I have this little pouch from Simply Gilded, it came from a box, um, but I'm gonna use it as a little extra storage spot because this doesn't have any other pockets other than the ones in the front. And as you saw, I'm using the front a little bit more decoratively, but I wanna keep like my sticky notes and other accessories in here so it's a faux leather pouch it's very pliable so um, it doesn't take up very much room it's very thin and it just so happens to fit within this so i'm just gonna do this kind of pull it through the last elastic and then there you go you can just close it up and it stays in place pretty well so in here since i'm not using the seals anymore um, i want to keep them safe and the great thing about this pouch is that it is lined with a very soft material. So all your items in there are going to be protected. So I have my other sticky notes that I used earlier. And I think I'll probably even put some of these ones in. So these are from that paper pack. And these ones are blank here because you can actually write on them. So that's great. If I want to make an extra note, I want to put those in there. And as you can see, it still closes really well, stays relatively flat like that. So there we go. I'm gonna add my pen. This came from the growth box. It's rose gold. I definitely wanna use this plant clip. This is from Exo Carolyn Designs. It has a little white heart and then the little potted plant. So let's add that to the insert here. And then I do also have this green one. It has a green pearl, a yellow pearl, and a cream pearl. So let's put it on the last insert. And then I do have this extra one. Do I wanna use this one or should I take out the pink and put the pink up top? Yeah, I think I'll go with the pink instead. Of course, I would go with pink, right? I'm just gonna put that there. So now that kind of sticks up at the top. I do also have this leaf one, but I don't know. I think that's enough on that side. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. So these items I'm probably not going to use anymore. So these are just some extra clips and then some of the extra journaling cards. 
So I'll put those away. I'm pretty happy with the more simpler setup in here. Since I'm only really using three inserts, this is enough for me. I don't want to bulk it up too much either because this is not going to be necessarily a planner. It's more of like a note-taking system. I'm going to be using this mostly for the shops that I PR for as well as some research notes for my job as an author. I'm a writer so um, that's what these lined notebooks and grid notebooks are for. So I'm gonna show you a final flip through right now. So this is the Simply Gilded B6TN. This is from the Tropical Lux box. It's a beautiful black quilted one with the gold hardware and then it has the scallop spine. I adore it. Um, I've really been enjoying this. I actually have my spring setup all done so if you guys missed that I, I will leave a link to it up here and then I probably will be doing a fall one as well um, but that one's going to be slightly different I think I'm going to move into astrology soon um, so let's go through the pockets and everything so just here in the back I do have this gorgeous journaling card I love this design it's so pretty from the paper pack and this is just a washi dashboard that I made using the washi that came in the growth box I just actually put it on the menu card like that. So that's adding a little bit of deco. This bow is from Josephine Bow Designs. This cute die cut is from GP Studio. The doily is just from some Happy Mail that I got. And then these also came from the Tropical Lux box. I'm using a Foxy Fix dashboard. And inside I'm using um, some paper from the Bahama Mama pack from Michaels. And this is the journaling card that came in the kit. In here, I just have Michael's paper, a die cut from GP Studio. This, this is actually a sticky note from the growth box, and that is a journaling card from the paper pack. My inserts and this vellum is also from the growth box. And then this clip is from Sweet Paper Bliss. I love that. The back here, I have some more Michael's paper. This is from Simply Gilded. It's a sticky note that I'm using as a die cut and that is from Josephine Bow Designs. At the very back here I have more of that flamingo pink paper from Michaels and a journaling card from Simply Gilded. It came from the Tropical Lux box. These two came from the growth box, the acetate and the vellum, and then this blackout insert came from the Tropical Lux again from Simply Gilded. This cute little planter clip is from Exo Carolyn Designs. And then my last insert is all from Simply Gilded. So the vellum and acetate is from the Tropical Lux and this insert is from the Paris and Spring one. And then I just have a Sweet Paper Bliss clip on top. And then lastly, I do have my little pouch here that I always like to use. And inside I just have some stickers, a few journaling cards to write on, and my sticky notes. And then I do have the growth pen. So like I said, very simple, but I think it's quite decorative enough. So once again, I do have a referral link to Simply Gilded if you guys are interested in picking up these two boxes. Once again, they are the growth and the tropical Lux. That's mainly what I use to set up this TN along with that Michael's paper pad that I showed you earlier. As always, you can use my referral link down below and I do have some other PR codes and referral links to other shops if you guys would like to check those ones out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!